Cottonwood County Citizen proudly presents Athlete of the Week. Brought to you this week by Maynards of Westbrook, your home for great value, selection, and service. Stop in and check out our great weekly specials. Located at 627 First Avenue, it's Maynards of Westbrook. I'm joined right now by Westbrook Walnut Grove senior Ethan Mischke, our Athlete of the Week this week. Congratulations, Ethan. Thank you. Let's go back to Saturday's game against Hills Beaver Creek. And, and uh, going into that game, a lot was on the line for you guys. Um, you know, you you had a chance to, to clinch a share of the conference title with Southwest Christian. Um, Hills Beaver Creek's a, a good young team that's been playing pretty well of late. Uh, what was the game plan going into Saturday? Oh, uh, well, we knew they had a lot of good players that could make plays and – we kind of knew their game plan was just going to be to come in and try and drive it down our throat. And all we had to do was we just had to make sure that defensively we were on point with what we wanted to do. And then also offensively that we just needed to be able to have quick ball movement and move through things as fast as we could so that we could keep them on their heels most of the game. Yeah, you guys got off to a good start, uh, a 13-point halftime lead, and then uh... – then in the second half, things really started to open up for you, especially on the outside. Yeah, I think what uh, what makes our team good is that we've had probably four or five different guys lead the team in scoring all year. So when we go into games, teams don't really know who they're supposed to guard because we have so many people that can score. So I would say that's what really opened it up for me is when we can get other people going early. That really helps out everyone else to get going for themselves too. Two years ago – you guys played in the state tournament. And, you know, a lot of the guys that are on the team right now were on that roster. And how valuable was that experience for you? And and how have you guys as a team been able to build on that experience the last couple of years? I'd say it's definitely helped having that experience because I got to play. And then I know Hunter, Colton, and Nathan, they all got a chance to play too. And then the other people that were on the roster, they got to practice against people that went to the state tournament and know what it takes to get there. So I'd say, like, especially these last two years, uh, practice has been pretty beneficial for everybody because we've all had the experience of playing in big games. So we know how to push the younger kids so that they can get to where we used to go. How have you seen your role change in the last couple of years? Because you, you've been a varsity player now for four seasons. Um <laughs> You know, I, I think that most teams that you guys play know that you're capable of, you know, going off for 25, 30 points. But at the same time, you know, I, I see your role this year kind of uh, in the same way as uh, Andrew Quaid's role two years ago in that, you know, you can score, but the team might be better if you're facilitating. Yeah, I'd say definitely in my senior year, uh, I've taken on more of a leadership role along with the other seniors. And when we go into games, it's always how can I make other teammates better? Because once other people start playing well, that can build their confidence. And I know what I can do. And I'm just trying to help my teammates see like what they can do to the best of their abilities. And so I think me being able to get other people involved and Hunter getting other people involved has really showed other people on our team that they can step up and take over too. Yeah, and, and like you said, you guys have had – seven or eight guys scoring double figures at different times this season. And, and uh, when you when you have that many offensive weapons, it makes you guys really hard to defend. Yeah, I'd say that probably comes from practice too, is that it's not always just varsity and speed squad. We'll, we'll switch teams and we'll guard varsity player, players. will guard other varsity players to try and push them and show them like if you can score on us, you can score on anybody else and just kind of push them and grow their confidence. You know, of course, this this season, uh, you know, playoffs are about to begin, and and uh, you know, this season you guys played two really tough games with Southwest Christian. Uh, you know, you ended up on the short end of both those games. How does that strengthen your resolve going into the playoffs to hopefully get another shot at those guys? Um, well, <clears throat> both times we've played them, we've we've played them pretty close for pretty much the entire game. 
And every day we go into practice, we know that we're right there with any team in the conference. And we just have to, if, as long as we can play like we, at the best of our abilities for the whole season, then we know that by the end of the season, we should be playing our best basketball and that we can hang with anybody. You know, you guys face Red Rock Central in the playoffs tonight. Um, you know, Red Rock's a team that uh, they, they've, they've been a little up and down this season but they always play well against you guys. Um, what's it going to take for you guys to, to pull off a win in the playoffs tonight and, and keep moving forward? Uh, well, they've been playing pretty good lately. They played Mountain Lake pretty close not that long ago. And, I mean, once the playoffs start, everyone always plays at a higher level. So we just need to make sure that we're doing what we can do to the best of our abilities. And if we can do that and keep them – then I think we'll have a good shot. Uh, probably the most memorable sports moment is when we beat Dawson Boyd to go to the state tournament. I'd say just all the fans that came to the game and then all of them being on the court with us after the game, that was definitely the most memorable. Probably a lot of rap, a lot of Drake. That's probably mostly what I listen to before games to kind of get me going. Honestly, I would probably say MCC just because, like, a lot of teams, they can do things well, but MCC, I feel like they put a lot of their focus just on defense and just wearing you out on offense and, like, trying to get you to take bad shots. And I feel like we've always had a tough time playing against MCC. It's always close. So I would say that's probably the toughest team. I think my teammates would describe me as uh, hardworking, a leader, but also a pretty funny guy. I'd say I'm, I think they'd say I'm a pretty funny guy and I'm a fun guy to be around, but definitely hardworking and determined to do the best for the team. Uh, hanging out with friends, playing video games, mostly those two. And of course, you're a senior this year. Have you uh, got the college choice narrowed down? I have not decided yet, but I have decided that I'm probably going to go for secondary teaching. All right. Well, that should be all we need. Uh, congratulations on a big win to share the conference title on Saturday. Best of luck in the playoffs, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Brought to you this week by Maynards of Westbrook, your home for great value, selection, and service. Stop in and check out our great weekly specials. Located at 627 First Avenue, it's Maynard's of Westbrook.